Hi, this is Kelly from Prateka Kelly on Play, Learn, Talk, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I link my navigation buttons in the start of my deck. This is a Flow Magic deck, and I already have my pages pre-made and imported to the Boom Learning Workstation. So I'm going to come to my first page here, which is my cover page, and I want to link the start button. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab a text box. I'm going to delete what's inside of it, and then I'm simply going to size it to the size of my button and lay it over the top. Okay, so I'm going to size it down, and then I want to link this. So I want to link this to the very next page. I could also choose next card, but I know I'm not going to put anything in between these two pages, so I'm going to go ahead and link it directly to this page. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to this page and I have three areas I want to link. This is a blend articulation activity set, so it has S blends, R blends, and L blends, and I want the user to be able to click on this area to get to that navigation page. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to link this page to the following pages, but I'm going to link this page fully. Okay, so we're going to grab another text box. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to link the logo. So in all of my resources, I like to have my Play, Learn, Talk logo link back to the last navigation page. So I'm going to link that back to this home page. Okay. And I'm going to grab another text box. And I'm going to make it about this size. Okay. So sometimes I've sized it down to the actual size of the button, but I know on some smaller devices it might be harder to click that with accuracy, so I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. Okay. So I like the size of that box, and I am going to go ahead and duplicate it because I want them all to have about the same size. Okay. And then one more duplication. And then the last thing we need a box for is going to be for the instructions page. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate that box again. And we're going to move it up to the top here. And we want to link that to an instructions page. So I don't have that page created yet or uploaded, but I am going to put it actually behind the home page. And this is going to be my instructions page that I will import later. But for now, I just want to be able to double check that we're linking to the correct page. Okay, so we're going to come over here and link that to this page. Okay, now S blends we would link and L blends we would link, but I don't have them uploaded yet, so we're going to link the R blends first. So we're going to link to the navigation page for the R blend, so that's this page. All right, so now we're able to move on to this page, and here we have six more buttons, I'm sorry, seven more buttons that we need to link. And the instructions, I'm going to have those linked again, just in case the person didn't see them on this other navigation page. Okay, so since this and this is similar, we're going to actually come back to this page and copy these two items. So I'm going to click on this one, and then I'm going to come up here and make sure I click on that blue tab, and then do Command C. And I'm going to come over to this page and do Command V. And it copied it for me. Okay, so now we're going to grab a text box, double click, erase the text and size it to the size that we want and just drag it over. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and move it over here. Now I'm going to grab both at the same time to save myself time. Command C, Command V, and I'm going to bring it down and then just Command V, okay, because I've already copied it. like that. And then I'm going to click off one of them and do Command C, Command V. So I've just duplicated my last one and I'm going to put it on. Okay. So now all I need to do is link these to their pages. So I'm going to um, click on the tab of BR and I'm going to link it to the BR page. So I'm just going to come over here and look and see that this has my BR words. And then I'm going to come over here and link my CR words and then DR, so you're just gonna go through all of them and link them, okay? And here's FR, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so I can see more. I really like in the workstation that this page doesn't move and that I can just scroll over here, it makes it really convenient for me. Here's GR, and then we need PR, and TR, 
Okay, so the next step of this would be to come over to these pages and start putting the, you know, the coding and things in on these pages. Now I have these little navigation pumpkins at the bottom. Um, this one is going to take us back to the navigation page, and then this one's going to be linked to um, the next button. Okay, and then the very last one over here, I'm going to make sure that this button actually links to go back to this page as well. Okay, so if you'd like to see a tutorial on the next step of this resource, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to um, do that tutorial for you. I hope you found this video helpful and that you learned something new. Please give it a like and share it with someone else who would find it useful too. All right, bye guys.